Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial from Xenotrust. So I'm going to show you how to hide the shipping and tax option from your Dokkan WordPress plugin. Okay. So for example, if you um, if you maybe sell digital products or downloadable products, then you may not need the shipping and tax option available to your vendors. So this is a good reason um, to you know hide this particular option from your vendors. So essentially it's a straightforward process and I'm going to show you in the next two minutes. So what you need to do is you need to go log into your control panel or the server where your WordPress installation file is located. In my case, it's on my desktop because I'm using a local server. What I want you to do next is to go to wp-content and then plugins. And then within the plugins folder, look at your Dokkan Pro folder. And within that, there is a template folder and there is the product folder. So um, next, there is this file called product shipping content. What I want you to do at this point is to right click and copy this file. Okay, so basically you may not need to right click, you may just need to copy it from your server. But I am using a desktop, so that's why I you know, right click. So copy this file essentially and locate your theme folder. So this is my theme and my child theme. And within the child theme folder, I have this Dokkan folder I created. And then there is a products folder within it. So I'm going to right click and paste this file here. So product shipping content.php. Now what I'll do is I'll edit this file. So I'll open it up in my code editor and this is what it looks like. Um, there's a lot of code here, but what you need to do is to go to line 22. So line 22 and I want you to add this comment. I want you to comment out this section from line 22. So this is how you comment stuff out on on this your page and what you need to do now is to save and then let's go and see so this is shipping tax just just after specification so i'll refresh the page and let's see what happens so as you can see the shipping and tax is out of the picture so essentially that's how you delete that feature from your vendor dashboard okay supposing you have digital products but if you actually sell um, hard product then you may not need to remove that feature instead you may need to modify it such that it's easier for your vendors to use okay but thank you so much for watching this lecture subscribe to my channel for more tutorials on Dokkan customizations see you in another one